Ladies and gentlemen, we're back on the racetrack with the Fast and the Furious Rally Tournament, gearing up for round one, group five. Brace yourselves because this group is less like a classic car meetup and more like a caffeine infused roller coaster ride. Leading the pack, we have Ra Sun God, who, contrary to popular belief, does not actually control the sun, but he sure knows how to light up the track with that scorching blue Nissan Skyline R34. Here's to hoping the sun god of speed is on his side today. Then we've got the crazy Canuck. Some say he's fueled by maple syrup and sheer willpower, while others claim it's the roar of his Dodge Charger Hellcat. We're just hoping he can dodge the competition and drive straight to victory. Not far behind is Rage. With a name that intense, you'd expect fireworks, and boy, does he bring them. Revving up in a shiny silver Nissan Skyline R34, we're all waiting to see if his driving is as explosive as his name. And lastly, but not leastly, we have Feral Patrick. Don't be deceived by the name. He's not wild, just extremely passionate. And his 1970 Ford Escort RS1600 in striking blue? Come on, that wild beast is just waiting to be unleashed on the asphalt jungle. So strap in folks, we're about to witness diecast history in the making. And remember, keep your arms and your expectations inside the vehicle at all times. It's time to drop the clutch and floor it. The 10 second board is out. We will see Nitro followed by Send It and they will be out of there. It looks like the nimble escort gets the early jump. Will he be able to hold it out as Rage follows him right behind Rage catching up as they go into the final merger. Feral Patrick crashes and rolls and just by inches, by inches, Raw Sun God is able to beat him out to the finish line. He'll slow it down here. That escort is quick, it is nimble, it is fast off the line, but Rage was able to catch him, which is him, I mean Feral Patrick in the 360. Feral Patrick panicked, hit the gas, flew off the track, launched upside down, rolled, spun around backwards, and then got passed by Ross Sun God at the finish line. As we switch to the finish line cam, we'll watch that crash again. There's Feral Patrick upside down. Then you see Ross Sun God coming in, hits a little bump there, pops across the finish line by about three quarters length of a skyline. And we have no Crazy Canuck. There is Crazy Canuck stuck in the 360. I did not see what happened to him. We'll have to keep a closer eye on that crazy mother Canucker. All right, Rage with four points out in front. Feral Patrick in lane one. Ross Sun God in lane two. Will Ross Sun God, who seemed to be a little bit slower, be able to take advantage of this lane position here? Huge error by Feral Patrick as they go up in the 360. It looks like Crazy Canuck falls off again. Feral Patrick out front. Feral Patrick off the track again crashes and smashes underneath that overpass, allowing Rage and Ra Sun God to get some more points. There we have it there. Uh, Feral Patrick looks like he's out front as they go into 360. He is just carrying too much speed. That Ford Escort is super duper fast. He is, just has to learn how to keep it on the track and do not take a play out of the Uncle Elvis playbook. That will not get you very far. That'll get you approximately right where you are or closer to the Porsche dealership <laughs> upside down on your lid. There you see Feral Patrick underneath the track. We'll have to get the track crew, 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 crew out there and get him cleaned up. All right, Road Rage, two wins. And by Road Rage, I mean Rage driving for Road Rage Racing. Again, a DNF for Crazy Canuck. He's going to have to see if there's anything going on with that. Dodge Charger Hellcat. As we're out of there for race three, it looks like Feral Patrick and the Escort is out front again. Will he be able to hold on to it? He's on his lid and he, my friends, he finishes the race in first place on his lid. Let's slow that down and watch it again here. You see Crazy Canuck slowing down extremely fast. It looked like that looks like that Hellcat may be a little too wide. There you see Feral Patrick up on two wheels. He's fast, but he's squirrely. Going back to the Crazy Canuck thing, it seems like Crazy Canuck car might just be a little bit too wide for this track and is rubbing in all the wrong ways. Folks, we want to be rubbed in all the right ways. 
but he's rubbing all the wrong ways. Those Canadians just just hit a little different, you know what I'm saying? Congratulations on that one to Feral Patrick as he slides. He, actually, he's supposed to be in lane two overpass. He actually took a shortcut. He flew off of lane two, which is the fast lane. Instead of taking the overpass, he slid across the jump to the finish line. That man just took a shortcut. All right, we're back at the starting line for race four. Rage in the fast lane, Crazy Canuck in lane one, followed by the other blue cars looking so pretty. Escort way out in front early. Will he be able to hold on to it? He's up with two wheels and he smashes the landing of that jump. And I don't know where he's at. He does not recover from that. Rage takes the win. Raw Sun God takes second. And once again, no Crazy Canuck as we slow that down for you here. Look at that Escort on its two wheels. He has to let off. And because he let off, he loses speed, cases the jump, almost comes in contact with both of the skylines. Rage barely makes it underneath him, and Ross Sun God barely made it to the side of him. That escort was all over the track. And then we'll fast forward here to the finish here, and we'll see Rage walking away with it with no contenders at all, light years ahead of everybody. Ross Sun God is gonna be the Mr. Consistent of this group, I believe. He comes across the finish line as we go back and see where, how um, that escort got to that position when he cased the jump. I'm not sure what happened, how he rolled over to that direction. That footage was lost, stolen from the vaults of images and videos from tiny track cars. They're back at the line. Crazy Canuck in the fast lane. Will he be able to make it up and over the hill to the 360? It looks like he's barely making it up and over the first. There he is, there he is, there he's back. Looks like he was the only that. Farrell Patrick off the track again and pulls another maneuver on his hood. We'll slow it down for you here. It looks like a battle between Rage and Farrell Patrick. Rage on the inside. There is Crazy Canuck finally making it up into the 360. Does he make it in? It looks like he stops at the top of the hill. Maybe rolls backwards. There's Farrell Patrick again flying off the lane, bouncing off another lane's wall and landing in the finish line to take second place. <clears throat> Ross Sun God bringing up third place again. We'll take a look at that scoreboard here. We have Ross Sun God with 13, Rage with 19, Feral Patrick with nine. Seems like Rage is walking away with this one. The Crazy Canuck is out of it, I believe, at this point. It is physically impossible for him to come back and win. Those four cars are out of there for race six. Let's see what exciting things we can drum up in this one. It looks like Rage and Feral Patrick are battling, and then Feral Patrick crashes. Rage bounces off of him and does the little bunny scoot across the finish line. Holy cannoli, I've never seen anything like that in Rainier Rallycross history. Let's slow that down for you and see that again. We're gonna be able to watch that a few times because that, friends, is crazy. Not as crazy as the Crazy Canuck, but that was crazy. Let's watch this. Feral Patrick flies off of the track cases of the landing of that jump. There you see Rage bouncing off of him, jumping off of his hood, launching in the air, landing on that rear spoiler, and doing a little scoot across the finish line like a dog dragging his butt across the ground after he poops and there's still poop attached to his butt. All right, let's take a look at that from the finish line cam. There you see the skyline bouncing off the escort, landing on that rear spoiler. He gets a little bump from Ross Sun God who keeps Keeps the little the tail stand going here. We'll watch that again from zoomed out. Man, I've never seen anything like this in Rainier Rallycross history. And despite all that, Rage is still able to set it down and finish in first place, just barely beating Ross Sun God. And we cut to the helicopter cam to see Feral Patrick in between the finish line jump area. He will be needing some assistance getting out of there. All right, folks, it looks like at this point, it's gonna be Raw Sun God and Rage moving on, but we're gonna entertain you with two more amazing races here at Rainier Rallycross. Voice change, yes, they're out of there. It looks like Feral Patrick again. That escort is fast, and Feral Patrick again. And oh my gosh, he just pulled the Disaster Jack, almost doing the exact same thing as Disaster Jack did in group the last video. We'll take a look at that again. A 
Again, we have a crazy Canuck that can hardly make it up the hill. Farrell Patrick way out front, loses control in that finish line section, slides up on his sides, up on his tires, lands on his roof. I don't give Farrell Patrick as many style points as Disaster Jack got because uh, Disaster Jack was up on his wheels for longer and then finally flipped to his roof. But Farrell Patrick, congratulations. You get a two out of 2.7 on the style points for that run. Rage walking away with it for 26 points, and to top it all off, Rage will be in the fast lane, lane two. They're out of there. Race eight. Farrell Patrick again putting a hurt on these skylines as that old Ford shows them how it's done and flies off the track one last time, ending up in the gully of that jump. Man, if Farrell Patrick could have kept this car, oh, there you see Crazy Canuck not making that jump. We'll, we'll go back to that in a second. Farrell Patrick, he, if he could have kept this car on the track, he probably would have been one of the top contenders in this tournament. That Escort is one of my favorite castings, and I would had high hopes for it, but unfortunately, just a little too unstable for the Rennie Rally Cross track as we take a look at that from the finish line cam. Down, down, down goes Farrell Patrick. And Mr. Consistent coming across the finish line, picking up three more points. And there we have the Crazy Canuck upside down, inside out, and living the Villa Loca. All right, congratulations to Raw Sun God and Rage in those beautiful R34 skylines. For moving on to the next round, Crazy Canuck, thank you. Thank you for joining us. Farrell Patrick, your car is amazing, you are amazing, and better luck next time. This has been round one, group five of the Fast and the Furious Tournament. And of course, until next time, stay tuned, stay passionate, and get ready for more incredible moments on the track. <laughs>